uh, in train how to configure SRS uh, report uh, through reporting services. Uh, in the part two, I'm just going to show you the basic uh, tabular creation of the report and uh, tabular report actually, uh, and how to deploy this report into the report server which we have created in part one. So I have opened uh, create a new project report server I'm just going to give the solution name as employee okay okay I'm going to create a uh, shared data sources Select the in the part one. I selected the report uh, server name, which, which which was in the report server demo. So same server I'm going to select here, providing the credentials. Even we can use a uh, Windows authentications without providing the passwords. Since my database is in this, uh, what is that in the SQL Server authentication account? So I'm using the username and password. Okay. We have created a data sources, create a new report, report, name it uh, employee details. Okay. And um, we have created a data sources, so we try to create a data set. So, data sources we have uh, already created here shared data sources, so we can use that same data source using a uh, user north win only data set. Data set. So, here we can write a query or a stroke to retrieve the data. So, which was I've just uh, taken a uh, uh, few records from the employee table, few columns. So I'm just going to paste this query here. We have a fields, options, filters, parameters. We are going to look into in the later uh, later sessions. Click on OK. And uh, in the report, we can provide a header for this. This tails. Okay, provide some font de pointing to be done to this. Just a header. Okay, and um, go to the toolbox, select a table, drop it down here, and um, drag and drop the columns from the data set which you created here. Employee ID, name, and the title. So preview the like what switch up so here if you see this formatting is not as expected so I'm, I'm just going to expand the column size here a little bit okay this is much better than the previous one so I what I'm going to do I'm just going to save this so I'm going to build this report so it's built successfully so, so before deploying this report what you need to do go to the properties and uh, go to the properties here the target server version why I'm changing is because whenever we have uh, uh, a school server which is not uh, enterprise additions it will throw some error saying that uh, some shared resources has not been successfully there are few errors which will be popping up so 
to be on the server side i'm using the sql server 2008 and one more problem is by using this sql server 2008 is it doesn't uh, uh, provide the features which is present in this so this is just for the version which i have here is the enterprise version so i'm just replacing it to sql server 2008 and the main thing is reports our url the url which is to be provided here so i'm going to provide this url in which is created in the part one so apply okay and before the de deployment process we will see that so here if you see here there is no any records available here in the reports server reports actually we will when we see the end user uh, link whatever we provided there so if you can see in there is no reports here available here deployed so what you do you just build it you can build any number of times it's not a problem so deploy once it builds success successfully at the bottom of the screen here so you need to deploy it deploy see it's again saying that the permission for the user base is insufficient or uh, uh, performing these operations the problem is that uh, here if you go go to the server reporting server go to site setting home and uh, folder settings what you need to you need to create a role for your uh, uh, username whatever the error it has thrown here right very pc underscore very is insufficient permission providing what you need to do you need to create one more uh, mm, role for you so i am going to give the same name very pc slash very provide all the roles for my thing okay home so this time I'm be able to deploy I think save this and again build will succeeded deploy yeah you can see here the build has been successfully deployed one thing has been successfully deployed here so if you see in that uh, reporting link here the end user thing if you see we don't get much uh, of what is a uh, much of uh, yeah. thing there like UI is not much here but you everything with report is deployed here so it's better to look into the reporting pages if you see here refresh the page you can see here data source and da employees folder which was created here and um, this employee folder name was given was been provided in these properties here properties we go here if you can see this target source folder as employee this is a folder which was created in the which has been created here okay so inside this employees we have a report which we generated this is the report uh, which we deployed here this is rdl has been deployed into this report server so we at the end users we they we can just provide this link to them and we have the security privileges to provide which reports to be viewed which reports was not be viewed by the end users so when you click on this uh, uh, report we should get those all the records here and we will we'll be able to save it in uh, different formats whatever the formats we require like uh, a pdf excel word anything so just i'm going to save this to just show you and one more important thing is here what are the changes we make uh, uh, what are the changes you make here in the database it will be reflected here it will take the latest uh, records in this report okay we can see that this is a pdf report we generated this is just a simple report which this report i have been explained to just show you how to deploy the reports into the report server i think you know and the next i'm i'm going to go with the detailed parts how to pass the parameters to the reports how to provide the privilege accesses and uh, how to uh, provide the email address for the reports so that they can uh, run on the background and uh, send the automatically to the clients the report uh, thank you for this for watching this video